Hey everybody, I'm going to quickly go through how to extract and decompile models from Dota 2 and materials as well and put them into Blender. Uh, the new models in Dota use a different kind of, um, what's the word, format and they also use fancy shaders so you need to do a little bit of filling around with the materials. Uh, if you don't know Blender, don't do this tutorial. This is only for people who know Blender and who just want to get to models unless you just want to look at the models. If you're trying to make models for Dota 2, and you don't know how to model, start smaller and work your way up, it's, you're just wasting your time. Uh, so first go to NEMS tools, uh, get GCF scape, Google it, it's the first link, and also Google for Studio Compiler and get that. I've got GCF scape here, so first we're going to go open Steam, Steam apps, common, Dota 2 beta, Dota, and scroll down until you get to pack one directory, open that up. I'm going to extract Slark, so I'm going to go Models, Heroes, scroll down, Slark, click on the folder, over here, uh, Control A, right click Extract, now I'm just going to put on my desktop, new folder, call it Slark, oh shit I didn't mean to do that, whatever, um, so Slark, there's all my, all my models, I'm going to cut them, I'm going to make a little bit of a folder directory in here. I'm going to call this one extracted and models. Paste them in there. Now I also need to rip out the materials so I'm going to go back up close models, open materials, models, heroes, slark, control A, right click extract, put in slark extracted materials. And that's done. Now you can close GCF scape and you can see the materials got it all there. Uh, first, oh, I guess I'll do the materials first. So open up GIMP. If you want to use uh, Photoshop, go right ahead. Probably the same, really. Um, you got If you, you have GIMP or Photoshop, you're going to have to get the VTF plugin. Let's hope you've already got it. So I'm just going to open up Slark Color, Slark Normal, and Slark Masks 2. They're the only ones you have to worry about. The other ones in Blender you're not really going to get any use out of. So I'm going to open them up in GIMP. That looks all good. So nice and easy. Control E to extract that. So I'm in Desktop Slark. I'm going to make a new folder called Decompiled. Uh, and then a new folder called Materials. And I'm going to save it as Slark diff.png yep yep and then same again slark decompiled materials slark nor.png close that now this one you can see this is all kind of kinds of weird because you use different channels for different things in uh, in Dota so what I want to do what, what you what was the what you usually do is you use the red channel for your specularity map, but because it's red, we can't just use that in Blender. So I'm going to go into my layers, uh, in my channels dialog, and turn off the eye on the green and blue. So I've only got the red here. Actually, I might turn green on. Nah, I'll leave that off. So red red channel's on. Um, go back here, and I'm going to control click on the mask to disable the mask. Otherwise, you can see this bit here. And as you're going to see in a second, I don't want that there. I'm going to go to view and turn off show layer boundary. This is a really hacky workaround. I should be able to just copy and paste out of the red channel and into a grayscale channel, but I can't, so I'm doing a really hacky workaround. So I'm going to print screen that. Control N to start a new one, 512, which is the size of the specularity map. Control paste. And then I'm going to move that so it's all lined up. And right click A to anchor. Image. Oh wait, no, colours, desaturate, um, lightness, and then just because I'm a sucker for contrast, I'm just turn the brightness and contrast a little bit, and then that's all, that's it, just save it as Slark spec. I had to do that because I can't just copy and paste a grayscale straight out of the green red channel, I don't know why, it's probably just GIMP, you might be able to do it in Photoshop, but that's how I got my specular maps out, so close that, I'm not going to need GIMP anymore. Now, so we have our decompiled materials, but we don't have any decompiled models, so I'm going to open up Studio Compiler. You're going to have to set this up. Um, it tells you how to do it on the website, so just follow the instructions. Choose your model file. Um, where are we? 
desktop Slark extracted models, and I'm just going to go Slark.model um, output directory. This always this doesn't change itself, so I'm just going to put it into my Studio compiler. Whoop! That's the help button. And then now this is where it gets a bit confusing. If I hit extract, I'm going to get an error. This is because we're using a new uh, a new model version. So if we go into extracted models and we go find Slark, Slark.model, Slark.dx90.vtx, just copy paste that where it is, right click M to rename, and change it to dx80. You want the dx80 and the dx90 files, I think, but you definitely need that vx80, uh, vtx, whatever it is. So once you've got that, go back in here and hit that, and it'll extract all your models. All good. Now we can close Studio Compile, we're not going to need it, and we can open Blender. Alright, oh, do not do that. Uh, so, I hope you have your SMD tools installed. If not, have a look at my video, how to do it. And I'm going to go, oh, import SMD VDA DMX QC, desktop Slark extracted models. No, decompiled. What the hell did I do? Oh yeah, I haven't copied it over yet, so go into documents. Studio compiler. There you can see that's all the stuff that we just extracted. Um, yep. So I'm going to control A, control X to cut them all out of there. And I'm going to put it in my decompiled new folder. Models. Set models. And then paste them in there. Alright, so go back in Blender, decompile models, and the good thing with this is you can just import a QC file, model decompile.qc, and just go BAM! And this will, it'll come up with an error obviously because for some reason, sometimes it doesn't, but what it'll do is it'll ex import the bones, which you definitely need if you're going to be making models, because you have to rig your models to the bones, and uh, it'll also import him. Now, I'm just going to rotate that negative 90 around the x-axis because he's sitting on the wrong thing and I'm also just going to hide my little cube dude there alright, I'm going to move him to channel 2 alright uh, now, so we've got our model model in here and he's got a shitty name for his material so I'm just going to change that to Slark uh, Matt, you don't have to I just like to uh, and if I go on old Z, I'm going to add a lamp, put a make it hemi. Um, and he's pink for some reason. So, now we're in, this is in GLSL mode, by the way. So, display GLSL mode and textured viewport, old Z. Uh, go textures, let's go new texture, change it to image or movie, open desktop slark extract, no, decompile of materials. There you go, slark diff. And there's his diffuse. Go down, change it to UV. Uh, next, I'm going to load in his normal map. Open. Uh, just get the recent materials. Slark nor. Go down, change the sampling to normal map, and mapping to UV, and turn it off color. Put it on normal. Looking better. Now I go make another one. This is going to be his specular map. Materials spec. And you can see it's nice and black and white. Change it to UV and turn it off color. Put it on hardness. You can put it on color if you want, but I don't do it because I'll just I'm just about to show you why I don't do it. So put it on hardness. Now in uh, in the Dota 2 engine, most of them most of the models will use the diffuse texture to color the specular. So I'll go I'll use my diffuse texture to do the same. Uh, so I've clicked on my diffuse texture up here, and I'm also going to hit specular color. Because I don't want it completely colouring that, I'm just going to change it to 0.75. And there you have it. There's Slark in, in uh, Blender. Looking all good. With all these normal maps and specular maps and everything in there. So now, you can go ahead and start making models. Um, any questions, just ask them. See ya!